Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how much did step one cost me because how much is step one is a very valid question, right? And I know that the money is different for everyone, so we're going to be you know dissecting and adding how much it cost me to take step one. So let's start. So I have my calculator here with me. And I don't think I've ever sat down to check how much all of these things cost. I think I had an estimate at the beginning. But I'm not really sad down to check in the end how much did we spend. So let's start. First thing is first aid. First aid at the time when I was taking my step one was about $60. But thankfully, mine was a gift. So I didn't have to buy. But if you're going to take step one, maybe you might want to add $60 to $100 now for step one first. But for me, zero. So zero dollars. Next. I got this amazing, amazing resource, USMLE RX. Oh my God. I'm going to be talking about it in the next video, but I absolutely loved the resource. But I think I bought it twice because I bought for six months and then it finished. So I had to buy the second one. And in the end, I think I spent about um, 160 times two. It'd be $320. I bought on promo because they're always on promo, always on sales. So I was able to get it 160, 160. So it'd be 320. And yeah, some of these things are going to be approximate because I might not really remember each to the to the tiniest dollar. So I'm going to be approximating some things. Okay, hope you guys don't mind. So the next one will be U World. Oh my god. U World is half the price of step one. U World guys. <laughs> U World is expensive, but it's an amazing resource. But I think it's the most expensive resource so far. I don't know, but I think so. So I bought U World one year, and one year was I think about five one nine. So let's say five twenty dollars. As when I did my step one, I don't know how much it is now. So close five two zero. Next thing will be Ambos. Oh my god, I loved Ambos Library so much because Ambos Library is just like having stuff you're going to Google. You have everything medical in one space. It was such an amazing resource and i also now added on um the q bank and the q bank is very economical very cost effective because for the price of one like you pay for the q bank one q bank is going to give you q bank for step one q bank for step two q bank for step three so you don't have to buy step one step two step three and at the time i was so sure i was going to take my step two i think six or eight months after my step one so i was like you know what well, this is a good investment let's buy one year q bank of course it didn't happen like that and i didn't end up using the q bank after step one but yes i bought like a year and so i think in total the library plus the q bank was about 300 dollars so 300 next thing would be mbmes mbmes are assessments you know they tell you where you are in your prep you know and it's an, it's actually like a very good resource because it's it's given or is it written by the people who are in charge of the exam right so sometimes it's actually important that you take it so that you would know where you are and then also know their style of questions so you can get familiar okay and i ended up taking two so i bought two and the price of one is 60 dollars so i bought two that would be 120 dollars next thing is my ecfmg registration ecfmg registration at the time it cost 150 dollars and then the exam itself, right? The whole, the king of all this money was the USMLE Step 1 registration. And I think I spent one, one, I don't remember the other figures. So let's just see one, two, zero, zero. But it was actually 1,100 and something, right? I think 1,150 or so. So let's just say 1,200. Hope you guys are still with me. Now, DHL. Hmm. I had to mail, there's a form, your form 183 that you have to mail together with your application. So I had to mail it to ECFMG office in Philadelphia, USA. And that cost me about $70. And guys, after I mailed it and I heard that you can send it for $10 with Ukra Poshta, we're already too late. So I spent $70 on DHL. Now, my trip to Kiev, I had to go to Kiev for my visa. Right, so I went to Kiev two times, and honestly, off the top of my head, I cannot remember how much I spent on the buses. I don't even know that I use bus, that I use train. I think I use buses, and I don't really remember how much I spent. But I know that I went to Kiev five, like I had five trips to Kiev back, to Kiev and back, and then to Kiev to take my flight out of Ukraine. 
so i don't remember honestly so let's just say that each trip costs ten dollars so let's say i spent fifty dollars on buses to kiev but i didn't sleep in kiev any day so yeah i, I, I didn't sleep any day so i didn't pay for accommodation in kiev now the next thing is visa oh my god because my exam was approaching and i had school and i had exam so i was like you know what i guess i was just being lazy oh let me just use this visa agent so i can relax and outsource my visa thing to this guy so i can just focus on reading and he helped me with the visa guys it backfired i ended up paying this guy and still ended up doing my visa thing myself god well, that period i i shared because i already got so scared but <laughs> story for another day i paid this guy 200 dollars i should have paid myself now the visa fee itself i believe it's about it was about 80 euros i'm most honestly not sure but it was under 100 dollars it was about 80 euros i also had to pay um, um nova Posta money for them to mail my passport and honestly i don't remember how much but it wasn't super expensive so let's just say that Everything visa fee and the um, not the actual Nova Posta was hundred dollars. And then my flight was actually super cheap. I used all those um, cheap flights where you didn't have luggage allowance, so you just had like a carry on, and because of that, it was cheap. My flight to and fro was hundred dollars. Oh my god! But the sad thing was now that I missed my return flight. Oh my god! I wept, I shed tears in the airport. I missed my flight and it was so scary because my visa was expiring the next day. So I was like, God, am I going to now overstay my stay? <laughs> so I missed my flight and I had to just get an emergency flight out of there as quickly as I could. So I ended up spending about $350 just to get a flight back to Ukraine. Imagine someone that spent $100 to and fro for one flight and I had to buy $350 just to come back. So, but in the end, I mean, it wasn't that bad so 350 and now the hotel i stayed i stayed for about i think four to five days it was about 250 euros i believe so let's just say at the time euro was still higher than dollar so if it was about 250 euros so let's say it was about 300 euros no 300 dollars okay. now i ate in the country i transported myself and everything was in euros but i'm sure i didn't eat so much because i could feel sick so yeah two days as i arrived i felt sick i was sick till the day before my exam i think it was over, even on the exam morning i got relieved so yes i was sick so I, i'm sure i didn't i didn't really go out i didn't really eat that much so let's just say that taxis um buses taxis buses trains food everything let's just say 50 dollars because i also did not stay long all right so yes now <laughs> can you guys guess how much let me see i've actually never seen this figure before Yo, okay, not bad. Three thousand. Okay, let me not say no bad. I beg. It depends. So I spent three thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars. So let's just say four thousand dollars for step one because I know that I bought plenty of food during that step one prep. If not for my friends that were helping me and sending me food and the ones I bought, I remember towards the end of my step prep, I used to get like patronized every Wednesday. I used to buy rice from her. She used to sell rice every Wednesday. I used to buy from her. And then the metro trips to the library and back, laundry, all of those things I did. So I just could have time to read. Honestly, I don't know how to quantify those ones in figures. So let's just say that step one cost me $4,000. But then it doesn't have to cost you $4,000 really. There are some things, there are a lot of things I bought that you really don't have to buy. That's the truth. So yeah. Of course, there are the basic things that everybody needs to pay for, like the registration, the um, application fee itself, you know. But then the other things like resources, they actually plus and minus, or plus and minus. So you choose the one depending on your pocket. Okay, but yes. Your girl spends three thousand seven hundred thirty dollars on average, approximately. For step one. 